today we're doing section 5.2, the characteristic equation. Let's review some things. Lambda is your eigenvalue, possibly zero. And your eigenvector is non-zero. So let's find eigenvectors x by solving a minus lambda i times x equals zero. How do we find eigenvalues lambda? Well, x must be non-zero. And a minus lambda times x equals zero must have non-trivial solutions. And a minus lambda i is not invertible. Then the determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero is called the characteristic equation. You go ahead and you solve the determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero for lambda to find eigenvalues and you'll have a characteristic polynomial, the determinant of a minus lambda i. And your characteristic equation is taking that polynomial and setting it equal to zero. Let's look at this example here. Find the eigenvalues of a equals this matrix here. So we need to first do a minus lambda i. And that would be my matrix A minus my identity matrix times lambda. And I would get negative lambda 1, negative 6, and 5 minus lambda. Now we need to find the determinant of A minus lambda I equals 0. So my determinant would be negative lambda times five minus lambda minus negative six equals zero. Distribute your negative lambda. So I'd have negative five lambda plus lambda squared plus six equals zero. We write this polynomial so your degrees are in um, descendant order. So I'd have lambda squared minus 5 lambda plus 6 equals 0. And then we would have to factor this to define our eigenvalues lambda. So the factors of positive 6 that add up to negative 5 would be lambda minus 2 times lambda minus 3. So I would have lambda equals 2 and lambda equals 3. So the eigenvalues are 2 and 3. For a 3 by 3 matrix or larger, recall that a determinant can be computed by cofactor expansion. So that's something that you need to remember to make your life easier when doing these problems. Let's look at example two, find the eigenvalues of A when this is our matrix. So first we need to find A minus lambda I. And when I do that, I would have 1 minus lambda, 2, 1, 0, negative 5 minus lambda, 0, and 1, 8, and 1 minus lambda. Now I just want to make this look a little better. So I need to find the determinant of a minus lambda i, which would be the determinant of 1 minus lambda, 0, 1, 2, negative 5 minus lambda, 8, and 1, 
0, 1 minus lambda. So I'm going to go ahead and use cofactorization and take out that negative 5 minus lambda and find the determinant of 1 minus lambda, 1, and 1, 1 minus lambda. So this would equal negative 5 minus lambda times 1 minus lambda squared minus 1, and we're going to set that equal to 0. So this would be negative 5 minus lambda times 1 minus 2 lambda plus lambda squared minus 1 equals 0. Add like terms, and I would have negative 5 minus lambda times negative 2 lambda plus lambda squared equals 0. And then we can go ahead and factor out a lambda. So I'd have negative 5 minus lambda times lambda times negative 2 plus lambda equals 0. So you take each factor, set it equal to 0, and you end up with lambda equals 5, lambda equals 0, and lambda equals 2. So the eigenvalues are 0, 2, and 5. Let's look at the invertible matrix theorem continued. Let A be an n by n matrix. Then A is invertible if and only if the number 0 is not an eigenvalue of A and the determinant of A doesn't equal 0. The determinant of A is written determinant of A is defined as follows. The determinant of A is either negative 1 to the R, a product of pivots in U, where A is invertible, or 0, where A is not invertible. R is the number of row interchanges. And here, we're talking A is equivalent to U. So with this, A is equivalent to U. Theorem 3, properties of determinants. Let A and B be an n by n matrices. A is invertible if and only if um, the determinant of A doesn't equal 0. The determinant of AB equals the determinant of A times the determinant of B. The determinant of A transpose equals the determinant of A. If A is triangular, then the determinant of A is the product of the entries on the main diagonal of A. A row replacement operation of A does not change the determinant. A row interchange changes the sign of the determinant. A row scaling also scales the determinant by the same scale factor. Let's look at example three. Find the eigenvalues of this matrix. So if you want, you can pause the video now and try this on your own and then check your work. So the determinant of a minus lambda i equals the determinant of 3 minus lambda, 2, 3, 0, 6 minus lambda, 10, 0, 0, 2 minus lambda. So here, we have our characteristic equation because this is a triangular matrix. So its determinant is the product of the main diagonal. So we can go ahead and have our characteristic equation, 3 minus lambda times 6 minus lambda times 2 minus lambda equals 0. Therefore, lambda equals 3, lambda equals 6, and lambda equals 2. The eigenvalues are 3, 6, and 2. The algebraic multiplicity of an eigenvalue is its multiplicity as a root of the characteristic equation. So keep that in mind. 
So here, these all have multiplicity one. Find the characteristic polynomial of A and then find all eigenvalues and algebraic multiplicity of each eigenvalue. So we need to find the determinant of A minus lambda I. So the determinant of two minus lambda And then we have zero, three minus lambda. Then we would have zero, zero, three minus lambda, five. And lastly, zero, 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 negative one minus lambda. So here, since this is a triangular matrix, its determinant is the product of the main diagonal. So my characteristic equation would be two minus lambda times three minus lambda times three minus lambda times negative one minus lambda equals zero. Therefore, lambda equals two, lambda equals three, and lambda equals negative one. So my eigenvalues are two, three, and negative one, and my three has multiplicity two. Similarly, numerical methods for approximating and eigenvalues are based upon theorem four. For n by n matrices A and B, we can say that A is similar to B if there is an invertible matrix P such that P inverse AP equals B, or equivalently, A equals P, B, P inverse. So theorem four states, if N by N matrices A and B are similar, then they have the same characteristic polynomial and hence have the same eigenvalues with the same multiplicities. <laughs>